hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber and if this is your first time on this channel you are welcome my name is esther on today's episode of the target series i'm dedicating this episode to graduate students who are currently studying in the usa i'll be discussing three scholarship opportunities for graduate students in the usa in 2023 that you can apply and just for you to know, these three scholarships have the deadline for the application. The first one is February 1st, 2023. The second one is May 15th and the third one is June 15th. I'm bringing you this opportunity early enough for you to get all the materials you need ready to be able to submit your application. Let's go to my computer so I will show you this scholarship opportunity. <music> Alright guys, the first scholarship opportunity I'll be talking with you about is the National Fellowship which is offered by the Jefferson Scholars Foundation. The link to this application portal will be in the description below so please look out for that. And if you click on the link it will take you straight to this page right here and it gives information about how to apply for this fellowship. So it says the Jefferson Scholars Foundation encourages applicants from a broad range of disciplines including but not limited to history, political science, policy studies, law, political economy, communications and media, and sociology. And applicants will be judged on the quality of their scholarships, their promise for intellectual and professional leadership as the rising junior scholars. Now these are the requirements for you to apply. An applicant must be a PhD candidate who is either expected to complete his or her dissertation by con the conclusion of the fellowship year as applying a detailed and workable two-year write-up plan that is consecutively documented. And as you can see right here, their website stated that non-US citizens are eligible to apply, which means as an international student, you're qualified to apply for this national fellowship. Let's scroll down to the materials that you would need to have ready by the time you're applying for this fellowship opportunity. One, you need an applicant information sheet. You need a project description, which is about 1,200 words, which should describe your dissertation or book, state your thesis, and explain how it contributes to reverses existing scholarship. Also, you need a research plan of 500 maximum words. You also need a network proposal of 1,200 maximum words. Also, you need an OPID or blog post of 750 words maximum. You'll be required to submit a short statement of interest in professional development. That should also be 500 words maximum. You'll be required a bibliography page of three pages and a curriculum vitae of two pages. Your writing sample, four pages maximum and two letters of recommendations. And they have stated that one of the recommendation letters should be from your advisor. Now, letters of recommendation are initiated during the application process or may be sent to the selection committee at this um, email address below. One thing I would want you guys to note is the deadline for, the app, for this application. And it says that the deadline for the 2023-2024 National Fellowship is February 1st, 2023. They would not go through your application or read your application until all of the materials have been received, including your letters of recommendation. So guys, if you fall within the categories of eligibility to apply for this scholarship, kindly submit your scholarship, uh, your fellowship application as soon as possible and encourage your referees to submit your letters of recommendation before this deadline of February 1st, 2023. So guys, this is the next fellowship uh, opportunity I'll be discussing with you guys and it's given by the Rotary International and this is called the Peace Fellowship Application. Though the application for 2023-2024 is closed however the 2024 to 2025 rotary peace fellowship application will be open in february that is next month guys so get yourself ready to submit your application and they said you have to submit your application um i will go i'm going to i'm going to show you guys the deadline for you to submit your application however i'm discussing this opportunity with you guys so that if you are interested and if you are eligible you can plan to start up your application in february once the portal is open now these are the steps for you to ensure that your application receives consideration and you can discuss that below from uh, step one to step seven not to worry the link to this uh, fellowship application will be in the portal in the description below so please look out for that and this is the selection process let's move on to the eligibility restrictions you will not be able to apply for this uh, fellowship if you are an actual Rotary member, 
if you are an employee of a Rotary Club or District, Rotary International, or any other Rotary entity. You will not be able to apply if you are a spouse, linear descendant, spouse of linear descendant, or ancestors of any living persons in this category. You will also not be able to apply if you are a former Rotary member or their relative as described above within three months of resignation. Now, candidates must have at least three years between the completion of their most recent academic degree program, either your undergraduate degree or your graduate degree, and the intended start date for the fellowship. Also for you to note is that candidates currently enrolled in an undergraduate or graduate program are not eligible to apply. However, Rotary Peace Fellows who have completed the certificate program, master's program, or a global grant scholarship must wait three years between the end date of that program and their intended start date for the fellowship. Here you can, um, you can take the eligibility quiz right here for you to be able to know if you're qualified to, ex to apply for this fellowship opportunity or not. Right here on number four states the deadline for the application. You, meet, you need to submit your application by 15th of May this year for you to be able to qualify for the 2024-2025 Rotary Peace Fellowship application. The last fellowship and scholarship opportunity I'll discuss with you guys today is the Ellen Hale Whitney Foundation's fellowship. And that fellowship is available to early postdoctoral research training in basic and biomedical sciences. Let me zoom in into this page, guys, so that you can see very well what um, I'll be discussing with you. So this is a link for you to click to apply if you are eligible. The link to this website will be in the description below. Look out for this also. And this is the eligibility. You can be eligible to apply for this fellowship if you hold or you are in your final stage of obtaining your PhD or MD or equivalent degree and you're seeking beginning postdoctoral training in basic biomedical research. You will be eligible to apply for this fellowship. This foundation accepts application from candidates who have no more than one year of postdoctoral research experience at the time of the deadline for submitting this application. And they stated right here, the deadline for submitting this application is June 15th, 2023. Also, if you have received a PhD or equivalent degree in no more than two years before the deadline, or no or an m or an md degree in no more than three years before the deadline you're also are eligible to apply for this fellowship also for you to know this fellowship may be awarded to u.s citizens planning to work in laboratories either in the u.s canada or abroad and also to foreign citizens for research laboratories in the u.s only so this confirms that this fellowship is also um, available for international students to apply. So if you're an international student and you meet up the first eligibility above, then you can definitely submit your application for this fellowship. You can review the application procedure, the duration of the fellowship, and also the activation of the fellowship, and also the travel expenses and the stipend and expense allowed allowance, and also annual meeting, the competitions and the applications that you need um, for this website through the link I'll provide in the description box below. For you to note, most importantly, is that applications are to be filled out and submitted online through this website. Applications must be received by the Erling A. Whitney Foundation no later than 5 p.m. EST on June 15, 2023. Take note of this time zone, guys. So if you're in a different time zone, Mark that down if you intend to submit your application for this fellowship. Also, they've stated that late applications will not be considered. So guys, if you have interest in any of these three fellowship opportunities that I've shared with you and you are eligible to apply, please do so and submit your application as soon as possible before the deadline. Kindly subscribe to the channel if you haven't and also please don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so you get the alert whenever I make a timely content or scholarship opportunity on the channel such as this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Till then guys, stay tuned. Peace.